Hey man, can you guys hear me? Testing audio. I don't do this very much, so. Test, 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 test. It's real professional stuff we got going here. Cool. I'm just going to wait a little bit for some people to join in, and we will start this. By the way, um, what does the thumbnail show you guys? Does it say, uh, for me, it's showing some old ass thumbnail that says logo design for Flabby. <laughs> Hopefully that's just on my end. It should say design challenge seven live critique and that the stream will begin in a few minutes. Hopefully that's what it says. What is it actually showing you guys right now? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to switch off to where it shows my mug here in a second. I'm just going to wait for a second for more people to show up. All right, cool. Yeah, the red dot, that's what you should see. All right, screw it. Let's go ahead. It's my first time using this software, so hopefully it works well. You should now see me. And uh, yeah, the live, this live stream is going to be for um, the design challenge that I had two weeks ago. Uh, in which people were tasked with designing an app onboarding screen. So I have the uh, submissions up here. I'm going to switch to the desktop momentarily um, and start that. Uh, so, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. We're going to cut here. All right, so now hopefully you see my browser. Do you see it scrolling? Just I'm just looking at the chat right now, make sure people can see this. There's a little thumbnail of my... Sorry ass here. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So just to recap real quickly, um, the challenge description was basically to design an app onboarding screen that would be based on an app that's for rating alcoholic beverages because that I, I'm an alcoholic somewhat. I used to be pretty bad, but um, I kind of limit to just maybe once or twice a week now. Actually, if you look at old thumbnails of my videos, like a long time ago, I'm like all bloated and shit because I was such a an alcoholic. But anyhow, let me continue on with this. Uh, so yeah, the slide title, you know, find the best alcohol description. Users like you rate the alcohol that they're drinking. This makes it easy to find the good stuff. Um, and so yeah, it was really simple. Just one slide screen of an app on of an app onboarding process. Um, and so, of course, submit with good design pr principles in mind, you know, good white space, good color, good contrast, good visual hierarchy. Now, this submission here, or this, this design challenge, only had five entries in two weeks. Now, just to show you how, you know, I guess to say unpopular that was, back in the past when I did this, maybe like half a year ago and even further beyond, you know, I was getting like 30 entries and 41 entries. I think that's because it's just been so long. Um, so hopefully that will increase for the next challenge and the fact that, you know, we'll see if this becomes a success, you know, me doing this live design challenge or whatever. All right, so here are the entries down here, and this is just showing by, you know, the very first, uh, or wait, is it the latest? Yeah, the newest entry. So I'm just going to go in that order. I already did rate them, but just ignore the rating for now, uh, and then we'll get to choosing a and picking a winner. So basically... Uh, looking up here, I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to call you pal. <laughs> All right. Uh, looking at this one, this is actually a really solid entry. And to make sure you guys see this large enough, it looks like you can. Um, so this is like almost one of the only entries that stuck to the actual rules. Like you know, we only want one actual app onboarding screen. A couple of people did several, and that's fine. That's no big deal. 
Um, but in terms of you know going over simplicity, relevancy, u- uniqueness, well, simplicity. Does this particular entry have simplicity going for it? Well, I would argue yes. There's not a lot of crazy clutter and all these graphical effects that are unnecessary, like drop shadows, blurs, and <laughs> lens flares or anything. So it gets simplicity really well in all manners, not just I uh, looking at it from you know a, a far off perspective, but you know looking at the type. Very simple type, sans serif, works well. Uh, as well as the description down here, he also creates separation by using not just completely 100% white description text down here, uh, but you can still see it, so the contrast is good. Uh, the colors are good, they complement each other well. This little icon here, hopefully it was custom designed, that works as well. It has style with a little sn- smiley face. And then finally down here, we have the get started button. It gets a little bit hidden, but that's only because the background as well is uh, this yellow color, which obviously you're holding a phone. That's not an issue. So very good entry here. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, this one's from David. And this one as well, let me get, uh, scale down the browser a bit. Yeah, this one as well as I, I really like the layout of it and the fact that you did something really interesting and that was very relevant and that is having the like the, the beer suds or suds or whatever you call them uh, down here at the bottom. Also, the uh, little sud bubbles uh, coming up here. I'm not sure if you could see it, but they're just there and they're faint enough to where it doesn't contrast a lot with what's happening in the foreground in the content. Uh, the icon, very good, very simple. The star means it's important, something that you like, and then a very simple but effective representation of the actual alcohol or wine glass right here. Uh, there only just one, like two tiny little things that I thought were uh, just a, sl- a tad bit off, and that is if we take a look at find the best alcohol here, that's that's perfect. Uh, but in relation to the description, they seem like they're they're the same exact size almost. Um, the fact that he's mixing serif with sans serif, that's not that big of a deal, but I just think it would be a little bit more effective if the, uh, the description was slightly smaller or this was slightly bigger for the heading. Um, the second thing is this uh, get started kind of gets lost, this call to action button, being that it's the same color as this, uh, you know, the, the, the beer color here. Um, really, though, that's small details. I, it's really effective. I like it a lot. Um, looking down here, Antonio. So, um, this is one where the individual, I, they submitted three different app onboarding screens and kind of got confused. That could have been my fault with the description up there because a couple other people did the same thing. Not a big deal. Unfortunately, what I did want was a title and a description. And, uh, unfortunately they put them on two different slides. Uh, and so, but I'm just going to ignore that and just focus on this one over here. Um, so at the same time, I don't want to ignore it because I kind of do want to compare them just to illustrate a few different points about consistency. So focusing on just like the, the symbolism, the icon right here, um, if we compare them to the other two, for instance, we'll see that there, it kind of does lack consistency in terms of first color. We can see this icon in the middle is just completely outlined in a thick stroke of black yet. We don't see that here at all in these other two. Um, so that creates an issue issue of visual inconsistencies, and you don't want that. Um, also, we can see that we have this uh, the circular area, and right here, these two are just plain circles. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, but they also opted to add some other icons right here on the side. So if you were to swipe between these app onboarding screens, again, it's just kind of inconsistent uh, in terms of application. Um, Outside of that, they are simple. You know, they, they, they work well. Um, again, another issue of inconsistency is we have you know a certain stroke weight right here, but then this these thumbs up and thumbs down, they're you could considerably less in terms of stroke width. Again, it, it seems like small minor details, but you know even these small details of only just a few pixels can throw off the consistency of a design. Um, outside of that, uh, the only other thing or critique that I would have about this is that uh, the skip button, the skip text, is just up a little bit. It's not centered vertically in that button. Again, small critique. Otherwise, good stuff. Uh, and if you were confused about that, you know, my apologies for not making it more clear. All right. Next one, we have Tim. 
All right, so now this is probably the most unique approach uh, to this this project here. Uh, we can see that we have a real unique type of font. Uh, it's it's, I wouldn't say it's a bad choice of a type of font. It's just unique. You could still read it, and it does give it a certain sense of style. So, you know, you don't always have to use, you know, sans serif, Arial, <laughs> or Railway, or whatever, uh, or Helvetica. Um, so the one issue that really stuck with me and point, point like I saw right off the bat was this icon where you have the magnifying glass kind of zooming up on this pitcher of beer, but there's just so much detail in here that I kind of get lost about, you know, what am I looking at? We have these real big, thick strokes right here. Then we have this tiny little bit of uh, white that's showing in. Uh, it's like a little slither. So that adds into issues of versatility. So if you see it smaller, it's just going to look like this weird, you know, um, uh, I guess just a few pixels of white. Um, so I, my suggestion would be to really... I take it down a notch in terms of complexity. Only show just a tiny portion of it. You don't have to add in all these details. It kind of gets mixed up. Um, outside of that, again, search for the alcohol that you like. It would have been nice to have that description down here. Um, again, not that big of a deal. Uh, one issue, though, I will say about you know, the next and skip down here is at the very last slide in this section where it says finish, there's really not, there's an issue of what's called visual hierarchy here. There's really not a separation uh, between, say, for instance, this text right here, this description text, and this finish button. They kind of just look the same. There's no priority placed on it. So you would really want to make sure that that finish button is sticking out and is emphasized. All right, but other than that, good job. And I do really, I, I do like uh, the approach to it. It's just a small couple things. And maybe you guys were, you know, those two individuals were confused or three. Here's the third one who did multiple screens. No big deal though. Um, so down here, this is Roberto. All right, so looking at this, uh, they opted going for a black or a near black background, which is fine. Um, yeah, again, it would have been nice to have the description over here. No big deal. Um, but in terms of looking at this icon right here, this beer icon, um, we could, let me see if I can like really zoom up like crazy. One second, I lose my place here. Yeah. Uh, you can see that the, the stroke on the actual beer icon, by the way, is, uh, it's black, I think, but you can barely see it. And so th that becomes an issue when we look over at this handle where you, can really, you can't really see the handle too well, at least on my particular monitor. Um, in terms of simplicity, definitely works well. It is simple. In terms of relevancy, yeah, it's beer. Not necessarily anything there, though, that hints at finding beer. Um, and so that's one, you know, just minor critique. Um, and so, yeah, of course, the call to action button down here, that sticks out pretty well. Uh, and if I were to look at any of the other slides like for or screens like this one over here where it has the stars, that's a, an example of, of bad contrast because you have the stars, which are really light, and then you have this medium gray or light gray background. You, you can't even see the stars really. So uh, you want contrast. So if you have a dark background, you want to use really light values on anything that's on top of it that needs to be seen or vice versa, uh, vice versa for that. All right, so uh, that was it. <laughs> that was my whole five submissions that we received. So, you know, looking at this, if I had to narrow it down between, say, two, like the top two out of the five, it would definitely be, let me sort by highest rating. Come back down. Uh, it would definitely be, be between uh, this entry here from David and then also my pal buddy right here uh, in this one. So as you can see, the ratings there are both at 82%, and that really doesn't mean anything. Um, yeah, they're both rated high, but in terms of who ultimately wins, I ignore that. I just try to really look at, you know, the fact that they were 82%, there's very little in my mind in terms of effective design that separates them. All right, so having said that, um, looking at this between these two entries, I'm going with... I wish I had like a drum roll, little key that I could press, but I'm not that advanced yet. I, I'm going to go with PAL right here. And the reason is, is because 
uh, the two issues that I mentioned here. Um, the main issue I would say would be just the call to action, get started button where it doesn't stick out enough because of the, um, the, the color. I think if the color was of this actual button background was something that really contrasted well and stuck out a lot more, I probably would have chosen it. So I'm sorry. Um, but uh, other way, pal, I will hit you up with uh, your free one month of Corsetro Pro. Where you get access to all of my uh, stuff. Let me cut to my main mug over here. And yeah, that is it. So I hopefully I see there's like 72 people watching. Hopefully you guys, I, I know probably all of you watching this probably didn't partake in the actual design challenge, but maybe uh, once I release the next one in a day or two or three, you guys will be more interested in joining. So obviously there is a winner for each one, but I think the real value, even if you don't win, is you know you're, you're getting my opinion, whatever that means, uh, on you know how you can improve your designs going forward. All right, so I'm just gonna check out the uh, chat because I wasn't really wasn't looking at anything you guys said. See if there's any um, questions that you guys have. <clears throat> No, I'm just not that popular, I guess. <laughs> oh, there's a dude on Slack. He does something about payment. Okay. Yeah, in terms of uh, tutorials and courses going forward, right now, oh man, I'm so busy. I'm working. I'm working with LinkedIn Learning, which bought Lynda.com, and I do courses for. I'm doing a course for them, and I also do courses. I've done courses for the past two years for. Uh, um, plural site and I, there, there's, there's like two di deadlines within the next week that I have to get done so there's not going to be much coming up within the next week but after that uh, yeah I'm going to be going full on again my site Corsetro by the way has been kicking ass uh, yesterday was a big milestone I, I got 5,000 visitors in one day from Google so that's kind of exciting which accounts for like 98% of my traffic as it is So yeah, there'll be another design challenge. If you guys want to, you know, make a suggestion in terms of what you would like to see, uh, you know, just check out the, the challenges pages, see what we've had in the past. Uh, if I switch back over here, so like logo design related challenges, I've done that. Those are pretty popular. <clears throat> Print design, like business cards, like I don't want to do anything very time consuming, like a full web design or something. That, that would just be too much. People aren't gonna wanna uh, really try to work too much uh, in terms of dedicating time to submissions for this. So app login screen, trying to logo. This or there was 129 entries in this one. So yeah, the logo ones are pretty popular. So yeah, you know, like I said, next, three days or so, uh, we'll go ahead and do another one. And you'll receive a notification. You just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. What happened to Vivs? Well, Vivs, I, we decided to part ways from the partnership. Um, he got real into other stuff. When we originally went into our partnership, he, by the way, Vivs is Slidener. That was my original partner um, at Corsetra.com. Uh, he was you know, when we originally started the partnership. He was really into Android development and his YouTube channel. He kind of lost focus of that and just didn't want to mess with it anymore. And uh, he started focusing on other stuff like chatbots and all this stuff. And this a partnership just didn't make sense at that point. So yeah, we just kind of ended that partnership. Oh yeah, um, if Pal is here, the winner. Uh, make sure you uh, remind me. I'm not the, the greatest at issuing. Uh, actually, just to make sure, I will do it. I will give him the free access once I end this stream. So, yeah, because sometimes people have won in the past, and I just close it and forget about it. And they're like, dude, where the hell is my prize? I'm like, shit. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it. Yeah, look out for the next one. Hopefully, participation increases the next time. And I will see you later. Now, how do I stop this damn thing?